Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off The Beaded Path and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, October the 7th, 2019. Today, I wanna teach you how to make a pentagon beaded bead. That just means that it is a, each circle will have five beads in it. This is not my original pattern. This was a diagram that I actually found back in 2010 and it was in a foreign language. So I just simply wrote, um, did my own version of the pattern um, because I was wearing these little beads and I had so many of my customers asking me about them. So, since then, there have been lots of versions of this beaded bead come out. It's very simple, very basic, and it's made using four millimeter beads. Now, you can use fire polish beads, you can use crystals, you can use bicones. Um, you can pretty much use any shaped bead that you want. You can use a rondelle if you'd like. Um, you can also use any size so I'm gonna use a four millimeter just because it's a nice size beaded bead you can use a three millimeter you can use a six millimeter I don't know why you would want to go above that but you can pretty much use any shape and size bead just make sure that they are all the same shape and all the same size don't mix your shapes and sizes um, so to do one beaded bead that I'm gonna show you how to do today you're gonna need 30 beads so I'm gonna be using uh, four millimeter round beads they're round crystals um, but like I said you can use whatever now I'm also gonna be using a, a product called illusion cord it's just a clear monofilament cord and what it's gonna do is gonna help hold the shape of your bead really nicely so it's not a flimsy and squishy bead um, besides that, if you want to use big eye needles on the ends of them, you can. If you don't have illusion cord, you can use an eight or a 10 pound fire line. Just know that you will have to go back through the beads several times to make it a nice dense bead that won't be squishy. So let's go ahead and get everything together and get started. Okay, so here is the little beaded bead that I wanna teach you how to make today. Um, this is using four millimeter crystal AB round crystals. Um, you can use any kind of four millimeter bead, three millimeter bead, um, any shape, size, really whatever you wanna use, you can use to make one of these little beads. Now I'm gonna be using illusion cord, which is just a clear, monofilament cord. This is gonna help your bead be a nice stiff bead and won't be um, kind of squishy if you use fire line or something like that. So I highly recommend the clear monofilament cord to make these beads. It takes 30 beads to make one beaded bead. So all of these is what you need to make one of these. So here we go. <clears throat> To start out with, you thread on four beads. It doesn't matter which side you thread it on. Now, once I have those four beads, I'm gonna pick up one more bead and I'm gonna cross the threads opposite ways through that one bead. So I have it on the thread. Now I'm gonna take the other thread and I'm gonna go through it opposite so that now I have a thread coming out of each side of that one bead. Now I'm gonna put these two threads together, I'm gonna hold them in my hand and I'm gonna pull the bead down so that the bead lands in the center, just like this. So we're gonna start with five beads in the center. Now this will help help you tremendously to know that every circle we make has to have five total beads. So the bead that the threads is coming out of now, that is the first bead of the set of five. So with my right hand needle, I'm going to pick up three beads. So one, two and three. Okay, with the left hand thread over here, I'm gonna pick up one bead. Now 
Now, remember, this is bead one, two, three, four, and then this here on the left is bead five. So I'm gonna take my right thread and I'm gonna pass it through the one bead here that's on the left side. So I've got my two threads, one on each side, and I'm gonna pull these threads so that now I have two little five bead boxes. We are gonna be building one of these five bead boxes around each of the beads here in this center box. So this, this one right here is the one we're gonna build every one off of after that. So I'm going to kind of hold this right hand with the left hand thread, which is the thread exiting towards the beads. I'm gonna go through the very next bead here in the circle. And I, let me pull this out so you can see it. Okay, so now I have a thread coming out of this bead and a thread coming out of this bead here. So that's two beads in my circle. So with the right hand needle, the one coming out here on the right side, I'm gonna pick up two beads and I'm gonna let those fall. Now the thread here on my left, I'm gonna pick up one bead and I'm gonna cross the wires opposite ways through that one bead here on the left. And I'm gonna pull. So now you can see I've got my center box and I have two beads or two boxes made off of that center box. So holding it in front of me just like this, I'm gonna take the cord that's coming out to the left and I'm gonna go through the next bead here in the circle. Okay, so when I pull that, again, now I have a thread coming out of this bead and one out of this. So I have two beads of my box here. So with the right hand thread, I'm gonna pick up two beads. one and two and now with this left thread I'm gonna pick up one and this is the one on the left that I'm gonna cross the threads through opposite ways okay pull these threads And it's gonna look just like this and it's gonna start doming up a little bit if you're using your illusion cord so now again I'm gonna take the thread that's exiting to the left and I'm gonna go through the next bead here in this center circle okay so again I have a thread coming out of this bead and a thread coming out of this bead so the right hand thread is gonna pick up two beads. This left hand thread is gonna pick up one bead and we're gonna cross opposite ways through the one here on the left. So now, when you pull that, your piece will be really cupped, and it's gonna look just like this here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my thread that's coming out to the left, okay, the one coming towards the beadwork here. It is gonna go, if I hold them flat, just like this, this thread that's coming out of this bead is gonna go through this one and this one. So it's gonna go straight across through those beads. So I'm going to take this left thread. I'm gonna go through the last bead here of the middle box and then I can go through. I'm gonna go through this very next bead right here. There we go. And pull it 
and now that I've pulled it, you can see this is what it looks like. I have a thread coming out of this bead and a thread coming out of this bead now. So that's three beads. I'm working on my last little box here. So the right hand thread is gonna pick up one bead. And the left hand thread is gonna pick up one bead and we're gonna cross the needles threads opposite ways through the one coming out here on the left. So now when you pull this, you can see that I have half of the bead made. It's domed and half of it is now made, just like this. So now we're gonna continue on to the next half of the bead. So give me just one second and I'll be right back to do that. Okay, so if we look straight down on the bead now, you'll see that I have sets of two beads. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10 beads around here on the edge. And if I hold it like this, you can see the sets of two here, the sets of two here. So you can see the sets of two now. So with this left hand thread, I'm going to go through the first bead of the next set of two. So it's coming out to the left, so I'm going to come through this first bead here of my next set of two. So just that one bead. And I'm going to pull that through. Okay. So the right hand thread is going to pick up two beads. And the left hand thread is going to pick up one bead and we're going to cross the threads opposite ways through the one bead here on the left. And we're going to pull that through. So if I turn it like this, now you can see that I have my first box of five beads for this part of it. So I'm just going to kind of set this here to the side, the right hand one. And with the needle that's here to the left, or the thread here to the left, I'm gonna go through the next two beads in the ring. So I'm gonna be going through, my thread's coming out here, I'm gonna be going through this bead and this bead. So I'm going through the second bead in a set of two, and then the first bead of a set of two. And you will probably only be able to go through one of these beads here at a time. So one and then the next one. And if you want, you can put a big eye needle onto these threads. I just find it just as easy to work with just the threads and not necessarily with a needle. So this is what your piece will look like now. You can see I've got my three beads here in a row. So with that right hand needle, this time, I'm gonna pick up one bead. Because I already have three here. Remember my box is made out of five, so it's three, this is four. And then on the left, I'm gonna pick up one bead and I'm gonna cross through the threads or the bead here on the left. I'm gonna pull that through and now you can see here that I have my next box of five. Okay, so again, let me turn my page here on my direction so I'm telling you right. So this needle here exiting to the left is going to go through the next two beads. And again, this is going to be the second bead here of a set of two and the first bead of the next set of two. So I'm going through this one. It's almost like the beads are in that you're going through are in a V shape. Okay. 
So if I hold it like this, again, we can see our beads straight across as three beads. So the right hand needle is gonna pick up one bead. Left hand is gonna pick up one bead. And we're gonna cross the threads opposite ways through the one on the left. Pull those threads through. Okay, the one coming out to the left is going to go through the next two beads. So that's this one and this one. And don't worry if you're having a hard time seeing this color. I am going to do another sample for you in a darker color so that you can possibly see it. This one's a hard one to show no matter what color you use because of the three-dimensional shape of it. Okay, so again, I have my three beads here in a row, one, two, three. Thread coming here and here. The right-hand thread is gonna pick up one bead. Left-hand thread is gonna pick up one bead. And if you're following along with me, then you've probably guessed it, that we are going to be crossing through the bead on the left. So if you're keeping up with the little stack, you'll notice I only have one bead left in that stack. So I'm gonna turn the bead just like this so that you can see it now. This is my right hand thread and this is the left hand thread here. So <clears throat> I have my threads are crossed through this bead right here, that's one. So I've gotta take this left hand thread and I'm going through two, three, four. So I'm gonna make a U shape. So I'm here and I'm gonna come through these beads to come out over here because we have one bead left that we need to put on. So I'm going through the little V shape almost that we've talked about. So here, now I can open up the bead a little bit so you can see it. Then here, okay, and then one more. So it's kind of in an upward motion. So I made a U, a U turn. That should be black. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up one bead. Doesn't matter if you pick it up on the right or the left, because now we are gonna cross our threads opposite ways through that one bead. So that completes our box now in every single little box or circle or whatever you call it on here has five beads. Now, I need to connect these top beads here. This is my last row that I did. They're there, but none of these are connected to each other. So I'm just gonna simply take the thread, doesn't matter if it's the right or the left, and I'm gonna go through these five beads here along the top. This will connect these five beads together for you and will give you a nice, stiff, beaded bead. My goal is basically to just to get back to where the other thread is because once I get to that other thread, then I can tie these two threads together. Pull everything back. So now I can tie these together and have a finished beaded bead. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and just like I did with my Stretch Magic in my video, I believe it was last week, I'm gonna go under that thread twice, and then I'm gonna do it one more time. This illusion cord or monofilament is really great because it holds its knots. So now I'm simply gonna take each of these threads and um, thread through a few beads before I trim off the thread so that then I will have a pair of these beaded okay. tape. So I've started out just exactly like we did with these. I've put four beads onto my cord. Um, and this time I took a Sharpie and I went over the ends of the illusion cord so you could see it a little bit better. But we've got four beads and then we pick up one bead and cross the threads opposite ways through the one bead. Now with that one bead, 
I'm gonna put the two ends together here and then I'm gonna pull the bead all the way down till it reaches the center of the cord. Now, with the right hand needle, and if you're left handed, just do like whatever I say to do on the right, just do it on the left and vice versa. So, the right hand cord is going to pick up three beads. The left hand cord is going to pick up one bead. And we're going to cross the threads opposite ways through the bead here on the left. Pull those tight. You've got two circles side by side. The bead here or the thread here on the left is going to go through the next bead here in the center circle. So just like this. Okay, so your piece will look just like this at this time. Let's see if I can get it in a little closer here for you. There we go. All right, so the right hand thread is going to pick up two beads. This left hand thread here is going to pick up one bead and you're going to cross through the one bead here on the left. Pull those threads opposite ways. Okay. The thread here to the left is going to go through the next bead in the center circle. So this is what you've got so far. This right hand thread is going to pick up two beads. The left thread is going to pick up one and we're going to cross our threads opposite ways through the one bead here on the left. This is what we've got so far. The thread here on the left is going to go through the next bead in the center circle. So the right hand thread is going to pick up two beads. And the left thread is going to pick up one bead. And we're going to cross opposite ways through the one on the left and pull that. At this point, you should have the very domed thread or very domed piece as you see here. Um, let me flip it here the way I was working. Okay. So I've got my nice domed piece. Now I'm gonna flatten it out so that you can see here, this left hand thread that's coming out of this bead is gonna come straight across through these two beads here. So let me find the end of it so it's here and it's gonna come straight through through this bead and that bead, so straight across. I'm gonna pull that thread Now, I'm going to pick up one bead. It does not matter if it's on the left or the right. And I'm going to cross the threads opposite ways through that one bead. Or no, 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 no. No, sorry. Got ahead of myself. Right hand thread, one bead. Left hand thread picks up one bead. And we cross opposite ways again through the one on the left. So one on the right, one on the left, we cross through the one on the left. And pull it so that now you can see we have half of our bead complete. And we see our sets of two. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten beads. 
my thread is coming out here so the left hand thread is going to go through the very next bead here there we go so the right hand thread is going to pick up two The left hand thread is going to pick up one and we're going to cross opposite ways through the one bead here on the left. And pull. Okay, so the thread coming out of the left bead here is going to go through the next two beads. So it's going to go through this one and this one. And again, if you turn it this way, it's these beads here that are making the V shape. So I'm going through one and two. Okay, so I've got three beads here in a line. So the right hand is gonna pick up, or left, blah, start over right is gonna pick up one left we're going to pick up one and we're going to cross opposite ways through the one here on the left all this right and left starting to get to me okay <clears throat> so the thread coming out to the left is going to go through the next two beads that's these here in that v shape like we've talked about so one and two okay so I've got my three beads here in the line so the right is going to pick up one the left is going to pick up one and we're going to cross opposite ways through the one here on the left So then we've got one more set where we're going to add our two and then we'll have one bead left. So the bead here coming out or the thread coming out to the left is going to go through the next two beads. This is that V shape there. Come on. There we go. One and two. Okay, so I've got my three beads there in that line. Right picks up one, left picks up one, cross opposite ways through the one on the left. So now, if you're following along, you should only have one bead here left in your stack. I'm going to put my finger in here so that you can kind of see what we're doing here. So I have to make that U shape. So my thread's coming out of this bead here. So I'm going through one, two, three more beads. So I'm making the U, the U turn. So one. Two, and then straight up is going to be my third one so I made that U shape okay so the last one is we pick up one bead cross our threads opposite directions through that bead pull it and there is our completed bead now remember, your five beads here along the top are not connected, so we have to go through, connect those, and tie it together so that we have our finished beaded bead. Okay, so you may be thinking, oh, I love the beads, but I have no clue what to do with them. Um, one of the things I like to do is take a pair of hoops and just thread them straight onto the hoops and wear them 
um, just a single bead on the hoop like this. This is the same um, hoops that I used for the hoopla earrings. Um, so they're really, really simple and fun to wear them just like this. You can also string them um, into doing whatever you want to do. Um, and again, like I said, you can make these out of any shape and size bead that you want. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these beaded beads. Um, and I hope you were able to see between the Crystal AB and the Jet AB crystals exactly what I was doing. I do have a step-by-step -step pattern available on my website for sale. So if you did not understand the video greatly, um, then you would have some things in front of you step-by-step -step to go by. And you can find that at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. We also sell the crystals that I used to Today. Um, they are under the crystal category, so um, they are fun to use and they're very, very sparkly. We also have those hoops available, and again, you can find those all at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.